I like a zit. When he is on the ice, Lincoln Becker has the need for speed. I like fast pace hockey, not slow pace. I like the speed. Are you fast? Yeah. Lincoln plays peewee hockey in the southern Minnesota town of Fairmont. His family spends a lot of time at the rink. Older siblings Layton and Joni play hockey too. On his team, Lincoln is one of the youngest and fastest players. But one thing did manage to slow him up. You can't even imagine what it's like to hear that your child has something of that caliber. In October 2014, two and a half years ago, Lincoln was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma. Nine-year-olds don't get cancer. It's not something, you know, you talk about. So it was cut us all totally off guard. Really what I kind of describe is a out-of-body experience. You just kind of numb from head to toe and think, really, is this um, the next chapter in, in Lincoln's life? And uh, just really a surreal moment. The diagnosis came on a Monday, and Lincoln's chemo started the very next day. It was the beginning of a long road for the Becker family. They made regular trips to Children's Minnesota, driving more than two hours each way. Uh, Lincoln's treatment has involved many chemotherapy infusions, bone marrow biopsies, uh, lumbar punctures with intrathecal chemotherapy, many clinic visits, probably close to 100 or maybe even more than that. The most intense treatments came in the first nine months. Since then, Lincoln has been in a maintenance phase. He still takes a chemo pill every day by mouth and travels monthly here to Children's for additional chemo and an immune booster treatment. He's a champ. I didn't kill anything. You usually don't, do you? No. I remember many days where he was in the hospital getting intensive chemotherapy, like big infusions of chemotherapy, and he'd say, Mindy, how much more time? Like, how, how much longer do I have to stay? Because I have practice to get to. I have games to go to. I have things to do. Like, this is really, like, cramping my style. I never want to miss practice or anything. I just always want to go to every single practice, every single game, not miss anything. Lincoln isn't missing a thing these days. He's a defenseman on his peewee team, playing with the speed that he loves and an attitude that has lifted up everyone else around him. He just always could find that silver lining and that, you know, that really helped us as a family withstand it as well because he just always had that positive outlook of, you know, only a few more days or um, it'll go away and, and uh, that just made it easier on all of us. He's never thought that this wasn't insurmountable. He's just like, this is something I have to go through and when I'm done, I'm done. It's just a big bump in the road, I think, and just got to get over it. So, well, yeah. Lincoln himself is just happy to be back to his normal 11-year-old life, playing the game he loves the only way he knows how, full speed ahead. I have a positive attitude on doing everything I do. I try to have a positive attitude about it.